Lance and Christy. Join us as we build our dream. Welcome to Knight's Helm Farms. We are continuing with the fence. We're almost done with it. We got it put up. Uh, I got some help from our neighbors with uh, knocking out this last huge stump. We didn't get the whole thing cut out, but uh, my chainsaws weren't doing great, so he brought his over and we made a nice place for the cats to sit if they ever decide to do that, I guess. Arthur's used it to get over the fence. Yeah, yeah, I used it to hop the fence. And we went ahead and got the fence up, but not tightened because we ran out of uh, the gripples that we needed. Um, just these little guys right here. Uh, I had enough for that side over there. Didn't have enough for this side, so we're actually using the weight of the roll to keep uh, the fence up. And then with those two pieces, I used uh, my connector gripples over here. So what we're gonna do is put these connector end gripples. Connector gripples are right there. We're gonna put these uh, end gripples on that side over there and then we'll uh, tension up the fence and cut off the extra slack and reuse those gripples and we'll have this fence done finally. Lace it all back up? Lace it all back up and then basically you know after that point we attach it to the poles and to the t-posts but we do have all those in so I mean it doesn't look too bad right now as it is but it's definitely not tight. Right so. it's, there, it's definitely not tight and then we have the the cattle panel situation up yeah. yonder. Yep. So that should be pretty easy too. Yeah. I say easy too, like it's all going to be easy. Right. Yeah, we'll see. So we'll get started on that. And today we're kind of getting a late start because we weren't sure if it was going to rain or not. They've been telling us for five days now that we're going to get rain. And it did rain a little while while we were eating breakfast, so we were like, oh, okay, well, I guess maybe we need to make different plans, but, oh, oh, beetle, <laughs> sorry, but um, it did stop after a little bit, so, yeah, now we're out here, yep, out getting here. after it, hopefully get this finished, yeah, at least the fence part, maybe not the cattle panel part, but we'll see, you probably can't hear you because of the wind, what, that's a lot of wind, yeah, that's weird too and it's cool like it came out of nowhere and it's cool you yeah. feel that yeah that's insane yeah. maybe we will get a storm today yeah maybe so all right i'm gonna put you on super speed and we'll get to divert it. from the wind sound Right, so we have it laced up on this side, have it cut off the roll, and we just have to take the roll and put it back in our fencing storage area. This is all laced up, looking good. He's going to do some tightening. do on this side, huh? So then when we put it up the other day, we just temporarily wired it to all the T-posts with junk wire. And so, <laughs> well, like every other T-post actually, it's not even every one. So we have to go back around and take all that wire off. But I think he wants to put the yellow stretcher bars on first so that it doesn't zing and roll up. <laughs> 
you know, it, it still wants to be in that roll over there. So, but before we can stretch it, we have to take all the junk wire off. Yeah, it looks like he's going to put the yellow stretcher bars on first. And then, then we can stretch it and attach it for real. Uh -huh. <laughs> attach it for real. So right here is where it's laced. And you can tell it's not stretched at all. Let me get out of the way. There's a delicate balance of being able to see what you're talking about on camera and being out of the way. <sighs> see that tree right there really probably should have been cut off, cut down. But like our neighbor said the other day, if it falls, it falls his direction and he'll take care of it. So it's really not that big of a deal. So I went around and I took all of the wires off all of the T-posts so the fence is not attached to anything except for at the very end with the gripples and he just cut down the middle so that we can remove the gripples that we put on to lace it up the other day just temporarily and he's got the stretcher bars and the chain on we have our straw boss right here Mr. MacArthurson and then our audience over there under the trees the whirly girlies <laughs> And it's windy and there's possibly a storm coming in but we're gonna get this fence up today is that right uh -huh. Uh -huh. It looks pretty good now, actually. It does. But what? of the T-Post. The foreman, he's taking a nap on the job. All right, we are coming in on the clothes on this. There's clothes on this? <laughs> it's a clothesline. Oh, okay. We have all the T-posts attached. All of them. Look at this, I have this all zoomed in. We got some, a lot of the alphabet actually. No, just two letters, I guess. I don't know what you we mean. We got the T-post done, we got the H-post done. Now, technically, we're doing eye posts. Eye posts. Yeah. So we're getting somebody off the taken care of here. And, and yes, I am an idiot. And then, <laughs> this kind of work makes you delirious. And then, we have to do the, we still have to do the cattle panels down there. 
way down there because those are just laying there. Were you going to clean it up more down there before you did that? Yep, I sure am. Okay. There's some stuff in the way before I can actually get that done. A couple branches. And, and that, that kind of other stuff. weird, like, I want to say fence, but it's not really a fence because it's just a wire strung between two things. Oh, I already cut that out. Oh, you do? Yeah. But the, uh, the barb, the old barb wire is uh, hanging out around there to catch me when I'm not least expecting it. Because I had to take it away. It's so. handsy. I'll be like walking and I'm going to step on some of it. It's going to go. Whoosh. Yeah. That's how it always works. Yeah. Farmers know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this right here I think is a problem. That root ball is much higher than the ground around it. Right. Not much we can do about that. Nothing's going to dig underneath there because of the roots. Yeah, but the fence is coming out like this. Right. Yeah. Just gives our fence character. I guess. nice fence and then get the tractor back out so you can mess it up. Yeah. Hit it with the bucket. Right. I only do that to shipping containers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I had to laugh because I was looking at my past uh, orders from Amazon uh -huh. and I saw the JV Weld for metal in there because right. we needed it ASAP. Yep. What was that for? It was when you ran into the shipping container, silly. I don't remember that. Yeah. So, look at this guy. What is he doing? It's a buzzard. Turkey vulture. Turkey buzzard. Turkey buzzard. But anyway, um, I had to kind of laugh about that because when it happened, the only thing we had to fix it with was a Mountain Dew can and some duct tape. Yep. <laughs> Well, Gorilla Tape. It was Gorilla Tape. I sacrificed and I drank that Mountain Dew, so we had the can. Yeah, I cut the can apart, it's flattened it out. I no longer drink Mountain Dew. Right? right? It would have to be a Waterloo can these days. Yeah. Yep, it was a red one too. What was the yep, red Exactly. What was the red one called? Code Red. Code Red. I still have it all memorized. I just don't drink it anymore. So... If you want a funny video, go watch that one. New tractor arrives. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Runs right in the shipping container. That was pretty funny. And I'm, I'm behind the camera and I say, Oh my God. <laughs> really yep. quiet. Yep. Because it just shook everything when he ran into it. And then he says, Well, I only went through one layer. I'm like, There is only one layer. <laughs> There's only one layer. Again, we're learning as we go. You would have thought there'd be two layers to a shipping container. But no, it I doesn't guess need not. it. It doesn't need to be. Last one. Is it? Yeah. All right, cool. Because that one down there is attached with the gizmos, you know. The gizmo. I gizmo see those small brown and white furry creatures over there, okay? Oh, they're hiding. They're hiding? Yeah. Gotta get some red bandanas. My goodness, that old fence is sad. Look at it right there. Yeah. <laughs> it comes along at the top and it, it just stops right there. And then this one does a big dive like a roller coaster. Sad. Sad, 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 sad. And these uh, pipe posts, they have, they're multifunctional also. They help hold up the fence, they hold your tools, and when you have stuff that you don't want to necessarily take all the way over to the trash can, like, like all the little ends, yeah. ends and that kind of stuff, yeah, they go right down in here too. Mm -hmm. That's what we do with them. Yep. That way nobody's going to get it stuck in the foot. Right. 
especially a cat. I just realized the lighting was really bad, so I came on this side of you. Wow, are you still wowing? Yeah, He's still wowing. Because I make my own light. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Now that this is over. No kidding, right? This is a big deal. Big deal. Yeah, people don't realize how difficult it is to do this stuff because we put it on super speed and everything, but. I was super stressed over all this though too because I was under the impression originally that we were going to have to take out all the trees. Yeah, I mean, theoretically maybe we should have, but a lot of them aren't going to die anytime soon. We'll have time to check it out. And since we were going to be moving the fence anyway, they're not in the fence line anymore. Which is something else. We got a little bit of no man's land here right now. Yeah, but and if he's gonna take that fence down. The horses will be able to utilize it. Yeah, if he takes that fence down, then that, and we're gonna put a barb on the top of this one. Yeah, So. but I mean, most important thing for us though is to keep these guys safe. Right. We can't have dogs coming in and all that kind of stuff. Helps keep our dogs safe because you know, hey, their puppies and all that, but pretty sure they would defend their property. Oh, I necessary. know they would. I know they would. Yeah. And if there was a dog that was on our property and ran through this old yucky, rickety fence, our dogs would follow. Yeah. That bird's right over there. He came swooshing through here a little while ago, and he went down this field, across the corner, and turned and flew down the highway. <laughs> We're like, where is he going? That was kind of funny. Where is he going? Yep. What's up? Yeah, still, the other, still chatty catty over yep. here. The other funny thing is, ow. Ow. Oh, there's something in there. Okay. Um, there's something in there. Yeah. It's got some kind of splinter in there. But the other kind of funny thing about this is that, okay, we use a little bit higher end fencing and we use these two different types of gripples to put up the fencing and do all that. But then we use just rebar wire basically to attach to the posts, which are the toughest posts we have to uh, keep the fence where it is. You know, T-posts, okay, they work, but if you need something really to hold it in, you know, you need something bigger and stronger. Yeah, but that wire is pretty stout. The wire is tough, yeah. It's just kind of funny that we're using gadgets and we're using mm -hmm. technology and then mm -hmm. we have to resort to this wire. And then again. we have wire, yeah. Just wire. Yeah, he did the first one and I measured it and then I just went over to the cart with the wire and my Leatherman and I found a point of reference on the cart for the correct length and then I just cut them all for him so that he didn't have to walk back and forth to get the wire, hold the wire, cut the wire, undo the wire. <laughs> it was kind of a pain. And now I have greasy hands. That's okay. They're super kitty. I don't have to make bread today so I'm alright. Yeah, there you go. What do you think? Uh, it's almost good. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me, King Arthur. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> Arthur. He's so funny. We were talking about how he's he would prefer to be the only cat. He kind of growls and hisses and boxes everybody else. Right. And he doesn't really like to be loved unless we're out in the field working and then he won't leave you alone. Right. Because <laughs> he wants to be the only cat. Right now, he's the only cat. And he's very happy about it. Yep. Look at him paw pawing. Those claws. Big paw paws. Mm -hmm. All right, so next step is the cattle panel. So you got to clean up and then put T posts in and then put cattle panels in. Yeah, because what's kind of funny about that is. When we first started this for today, we thought we were all done. 
with the trees and all that kind of stuff. And we forgot about that section. There's two big branches I have to cut off. So you know what I'm going to cut it off You're going to have to go get the... Oh, are you going to use your reciprocating saw? I'm going to use my reciprocating saw Because it's instead. in the cart and not it's, we put yeah. the chainsaws away. Then I want to walk all the way back over all there. All the way. Do you see how far that That's is? That's so far. That's not that far. That's at least 100 steps. Yeah, it's more than that. <laughs> I agree with you though. Just use your reciprocating saw. Oh, and then... Um, the same we, found, we found ancient tracks also when we were starting the whole fence and everything. Ancient track? Yeah, like this right here. Oh yeah. Ancient tractor track. Tractor. <laughs> Here's a wire. 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 Okay. Alright, I'm going to put you back on super speed.